Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. So today I am presenting you with this thing. It might look somewhat familiar in some ways, but this is the ACR Sport or the Sports ACR. Uh, Sport ACR. So what is the Sport ACR? Well the Sport ACR is a semi-automatic civilian rifle Initially designed by Magpul, initially this was known as the Masada, and it was made for uh, some military trials, US military trials, eventually just SCAR L and the SCAR H would win those trials. But this was in the same trials, later Bushmaster would uh, buy the design from Magpul, and uh, Remington would also be involved, Remington making the military version, and of course we here with the civilian version would be the Bushmaster version. And this was marketed to civilians, as far as I remember, as basically a cheaper SCAR L or SCAR H. And you can see the similar similarities. It is gas operated, just like the SCAR series. It has uh, something we don't see here in H3VR. It was designed to be modular so you could quickly replace like the barrel and the magwell and stuff to convert calibers. You can uh, change the charging handle from left to right, uh, right to left, I mean, whatever you want. This version, of course, is semi-auto. Initial versions, I believe, had a telescoping stock and a folding stock, like the SCAR. But don't quote me on that. And uh, yeah, that is basically the quick history of it. It ended up not being that cheap, I believe $1,700 or something like that in the US market. It didn't win any military trials. So here we are with it in hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. So uh, let's go over the gun. Well, first of all, charging handle on the right. And one thing you will notice, I of course went over it, no folding stock or anything. It has semi-auto only. And one thing you'll notice is Hey, there is no scope or uh, iron sights or anything, which is why I got myself one of these boys. Iron sight, no need. We're in the modern era, boys. We use red dots. So I think that really covers this rifle. Let's uh, go shooting. So semi auto only. It is Stanag compatible, so whatever Stanag mag you want, it fits. Mag pull or uh, the plastic types. The Stanag types, like this one, all of that fits. It is chambered, this version, in uh, 556 NATO. Of course, it was made for the US market, so that is an obvious uh, ammo to go for. And uh, no matter what we try, there is only semi-auto. And it locks open on an empty mag. So even without the semi-auto, of course, you can go uh, ham with your uh, fire. Uh, and it does have a bolt release. That's always convenient. So it is a capable rifle, just turns out it... Uh, it was a bit of a bust on the market. Especially since this was marketed as, as a cheap SCAR, basically. And that's not at all what it ended up being. It ended up being quite pricey. Ah, we're empty. New mag. So, th this rifle, it does have most of the advantages of like the any AR platform or anything you expect from a US's, US made or marketed rifle. It didn't see much success from my understanding. And from my understanding, there was also a recall because there was some faulty production on these. In 2016, I believe. So these guys haven't had much success. But in H3VR, they are good enough rifles. They're like any other rifle. What more is there to say? It's 
556. We've got loads of 556 rifle. It's semi auto only. But it is it is capable. There's it, no complaints from me on this. I'm not a fan of how it looks, but that's just a personal thing. So uh, I do hope you all enjoyed watching this quick little video on the sports ACR. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.